Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a minute to show the built-in AI um, now that is included in Microsoft Word. Only the office.com version, uh, but there's a built-in AI. Specifically, what I want to show you is how it can create a summary of your paper, or not really create a great summary, to be honest, but at least you can see where it is and how it works. So uh, you may see a suggestion pop up, but it actually exists under this editor button. If your window is um, is zoomed back a little bit, you might see just a little icon right there. Click on the editor button and you scroll down, you will see uh, something that says text generation. This one tells me, this is just an example, that my summary is unavailable for this document because it's less than 500 words. So I tried it out on a larger document. This one's uh, about 3,600 words. And if I go to editor, I click on uh, create a summary of this document. And it creates a summary at the top. Uh, this uh, overall paper is really about the definitions of distance education, not about the errors of distance education, which are is just really kind of a preamble to that. So what um, I realized by, by this uh, memo up here at the top is the summary is based on the first 1,000 words of the document, meaning if you have a 3,000 word document and you use the first 1,000 words just as an introduction, it's not going to make a great summary. So tried something a little bit shorter. So um, this one's about 2,600 words. And I thought it clearly uh, laid out some guiding values of online education. And so when I create a summary of this document, um, it kind of jumps into a couple of points but does not really lay out what I would consider a good summary, which would summarize the points, not just grab um, a couple of things from the introduction. Again, not great, um, over a thousand words. So I decided to try one more time uh, with a, a very short document, uh, 687 words, very clearly lays out three errors of distance education just that and no introduction or anything like that. So when I create a summary, it says our first historical instance of distance education was, and it goes on to talk about the first instance some more and the date, and then the first university program. Um, a horrible summary, I'm gonna say, of the entire paper that I thought was pretty simple and pretty clearly laid out. I don't know if they're using Bing or, um, or the uh, the other AIs that they're developing right now in this, but it's not very good. So I'm hoping that uh, they improve this um, very soon because uh, people are people are starting to get a pretty high value on AI. And frankly, when I used the AI for this summary, I thought that it was kind of dismal. So, but I hope that's helpful for you. Try it out yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments below.